Ladies and gentlemen, it's Wednesday once again and it's quiz night with Ken Eagleton. I just thought I'd big myself up a bit, you know. <coughs> I'll get on with it. <coughs> um, well, thanks for playing again, week five. Um, good to see people are still saying that they're enjoying it, which is uh, smashing, you know. Um, and it's... I'm going to continue the same format, you know. People are saying they quite enjoy it, they like to know exactly what it's going to be, so it's exactly the same. General knowledge, then name the song, and then sport, and then TV and films. So, no change there, and we'll crack on. General knowledge, number one. Which two fillings are in the centre of a standard Victoria sponge cake? That should be easy, everybody should get that. Which two fillings are at the centre of a standard Victoria sponge cake? Unless you've never had one. In which case it won't be so easy, but unlikely. Um, which star sign would you be if you were born on the 1st of May? One of these ones, when it comes around to the month, you think, oh, well, we'll have a go at that. This month's star sign. Standard quiz practice. <clears throat> Number three. Which European country has the longest coastline? Europe, remember. Which European country has the longest coastline? It's number three. And number four, in which decade did Channel 4 begin transmission in the UK? Decade, not year, which decade? And number five, halfway through, of which African country is Khartoum the capital? Uh, K-H-A-R-T-O-U-M, Khartoum. Of which African country is Khartoum the capital? Drinks time, halfway through the round. Uh, very nice. Back to the uh, the Michelob from the spa. As I say, two fifty for four bottles. I'm trying to get a bit of commission from the spa from advertising, but it's not happening. Right? Uh, number six. Talking about alcohol. Kirsch spelled K A no. Kirsch spelled K I R S C H is a type of brandy distilled from which fruit? That's number six. Kirsch is a type of brandy distilled from which fruit? And number seven. What is the name of the highest possible hand you can have in a game of poker? Oh dear. Certainly not that. Number seven again. What is the name of the highest possible hand you can have in a game of poker? And number eight. Which was the first flavoured crisp to be introduced commercially in the UK. Obviously ready salted was the first. Um, plain as we used to call them. Uh, what was the second? So which was the first flavoured crisp to be introduced commercially in the UK? That was number eight. And number nine, guess in ocean time. The Mariana Trench, the deepest location on earth, lies in which ocean? The Mariana Trench, the deepest location on earth, lies in which ocean? It's number nine. Number ten, the last one of this round. How many suspects are found in a game of Cluedo? You know, how many suspects? Um, you know the type of ones they are. Captain Orange and stuff like that, you know. That's obviously not one. I'm not giving it away, you know. But that's number ten. How many suspects are found in a game of Cluedo? <coughs> right, we're going to go on to me. me. <laughs> Name the song in a minute. This is this is my first bottle. I'm, I'm honestly. The minute I'm doing a quiz, I'll switch that camera on for any reason. The stuttering starts. <coughs> uh, name the song. Ten songs. Uh, these are the opening lines, and there's two points for them. One for the singer, and one for the name of the song. So here we go. Name the song. Now, if there's a smile on my face, it's only there trying to fool the public. That's number one. Now, if there's a smile on my face, it's only there trying to fool the public. Number one. Number two. Oh, life, it's bigger, it's bigger than you. Number two again. Oh, life, it's bigger, it's bigger than you. Number three. When I was a little girl, I had a rag doll. You've got to know that one. You've got to know. When I was a little girl, I had a rag doll. That's number three. Number four. 
Lay a whisper on my pillow, leave the winter on the ground. Number four again. Lay a whisper on my pillow, leave the winter on the ground. And number five. It's hot at night. Sorry, I'll start again, Mr. Wood. Number five. It's hot here at night, lonely, black and quiet on a hot summer night. Number five again. It's hot here at night, lonely, black and quiet on a hot summer night. It's supposed to be hot air. T uh, well, tomorrow as well as uh, today. Um, so it's going to extend and then freezing cold over the weekend. Smashing. Just what we need. Um, number six. I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. Number six, I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. And number seven, flew in from Miami Beach, BOAC, didn't get to bed last night. Number seven again, flew in from Miami Beach, BOAC, didn't get to bed last night. <clears throat> number eight, Looking from a window above, it's like a story of love. Can you hear me? Number eight again. Looking from a window above, it's like a story of love. Can you hear me? Number nine. Money talks, but it don't sing and dance and it don't walk. You've got to know that as well. Number nine again. Money talks, but it don't sing and dance and it don't walk. Imagine it doesn't. Number nine that was. Did I say ten then? Number nine. This is number ten. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. Come on. Number 10 again. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. I don't think anybody would get that one. Doubt it. Got this start again. <coughs> <coughs> Serious man. Sport. 10 questions on sport. And... Uh, I've tried to make them quite easy ones this week, although I say that every week, don't I really, you know. Just depends if you know them, I guess. Number one. The fastest checkout can be completed with how many darts if you're playing a game from 501? So you're playing 501 darts, the fastest checkout can be completed in how many darts? And number two. The Webb Ellis Cup is awarded in which sport? The Webb Ellis Cup is awarded in which sport? Number three, Jessica Ennis Hill and Denise Lewis were Olympic athletes in which event? Jessica Ennis Hill and Denise Lewis were Olympic athletes in which event? That was number three. Number four, in which decade was football's European Cup rebranded to become the UEFA Champions League? So it was originally uh, called the Euro European <laughs> European. <laughs> European Cup. Which decade did it change its name to the UEFA Champions League? I made up for all this, like I stuttered all in one there, but never mind. No, luckily, it makes me laugh as well. Number five. How many hurdles are there in a 110 metre hurdles race? How many actual hurdles do you have to jump over? So that's number five. How many hurdles are there in a 110 metre hurdles race? Number six. Joss Verstappen is a Formula One driver from which country? Number six again. Joss Verstappen is a Formula One driver from which country? And number seven. What is the maximum number of sets that could be played in a tennis mixed doubles match? What is the maximum number of sets that could be played in a tennis mixed doubles match? Number eight. Slider, gripper and sweep are terms used in which sport? Slider, gripper and sweep are terms used in which sport? Number nine. Who currently holds the record for the most Premier League goals scored? Who currently holds the record for the most Premier League goals scored? And number ten, the last one of this round. In a game of snooker, how many balls in total are used? In a game of snooker, how many balls in total are used? That's number 10. Oh dear. Different tie again this week. <coughs> Shocking blue this one, like kind of electric blue. I like it though. 
Um, we've only got one round left already. It's gone over quick, that, reading them out. Um, TV and films. Which trip a lot of people up, but hopefully, you know, there's some in that's not too bad for you, so I hope. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one, then. Which quiz show was originally presented by Roy Walker? Which quiz show was originally presented by Roy Walker? Number two. The second season of which Ricky Gervais TV show has recently been released on Netflix? The second season of which Ricky Gervais TV show has recently been released on Netflix? Number three. Who starred in the 1968 detective thriller Bullet? It was a film, not a TV series. Who starred in the 1968 detective thriller film Bullet? And number four. Of which TV show was Marcus Bentley the narrator for all 19 series? 19 series of this show, it's a long time. It's a UK TV show. Of which you... Damn, excuse me. Of which UK TV show was Marcus Bentley the narrator for 19 series? Number five, halfway through. True or false, Dawn French appeared in one of the Harry Potter films. Was that true or false? So 50-50 chance. Take your chance with that. Number five again. True or false? Dawn French appeared in one of the Harry Potter films. Number six. Which 1993 American comedy film is loosely based on the Jamaican bobsleigh team qualifying for the 1998 Winter Olympics? What is the name of that film? Which 1993 American comedy film is loosely based on the Jamaican bobsleigh team Qualifying for the 1998 Winter Olympics. What is the name of that film? Uh, number seven. Which comedy actress plays Linda La Hughes in Gimme Gimme Gimme? What is the name of that actress? Which comedy, which comedy actress or comedian, I suppose, plays Linda La Hughes in Gimme Gimme Gimme, the TV show? And number eight. Which actor was the male star of the science fiction movie Interstellar? Which actor was the male star of the sci-fi movie Interstellar? Uh, number nine, the BBC TV show Holby City was a spin-off of which other TV show? The BBC TV show Holby City was a spin-off of which other TV show? That's number nine. And the last one of this round and the quiz. Who is the most recent actor to play the Hulk in the Avengers films? All the Marvel Avengers films and uh, a lot of the <coughs> individual Marvel films as well. The name of the actor who most recently played the Hulk. What is his name? And there we go. That, uh, believe it or not, already was 40 questions that can score you 50 points. Um, sorry about my throat being so dodgy tonight. It's just one of them days. Um, and I will be back at half past nine, as you know, with a second video where I say all the, the questions again with the answers on the end. So, you know, you can see how well you've done. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoy it and um, he's flipping about the mouse again looking for the stop button frantically there it is uh, half past nine second video catch you then cheers <laughs>